Today we are making baked pumpkin oatmeal. It's everything that you love about pumpkin pie, but healthy for breakfast. Let's do this. So in this bowl, I'm going to mix my dry ingredients. I'm using two and a half cups of old fashioned oats. Old fashioned oats are these larger flakes and this is definitely the kind of oats that you want to use to make baked oatmeal because they're gonna hold their shape a lot better. So two cups of oats. I'm also going to use some baking powder. Baking powder is going to help give these baked oats a cake-like texture that is really traditional with baked oatmeal as opposed to that classic um, porridge texture of your morning breakfast bowl. Now to the bowl, I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt. Just gonna give this a quick mix to combine everything. And now we are gonna work on our wet ingredients. So for our wet ingredients, it's super simple. I have one and a half cups of milk here. Now, if you're wondering, can you make this dairy-free? The answer is absolutely. Just use almond milk, soy milk, whatever your dairy-free alternative that you enjoy in your recipes, that's what you can use. To the milk, I'm going to add two eggs. I do find that the eggs give these baked oats really great texture. All right, so let's give these eggs and milk a real quick whisk here. Just enough to break up our yolk and the egg white with the milk. To this, I'm going to add vanilla, melted butter, and a whole can of pumpkin puree. This is unsweetened pumpkin, just the same kind. One more time. This is the same pumpkin you'd use to make pumpkin pie, so we are going to use this, and also a little bit of honey. Not much, but just enough to make it a little sweeter. You could definitely omit the honey if that is not something that you wanna use. We're also gonna add our pumpkin spice. What would pumpkin baked oatmeal or pumpkin pie be without the pumpkin spice? Now, if you don't have any of the ingredients or a pumpkin spice mix, just use cinnamon. Make sure you check the ingredients right below this video. So let's give this a good mix. Start slow and combine everything. To our liquid mixture, I'm going to bring back the oats with the baking powder and salt, and we're gonna mix this. We're gonna transfer this pumpkin everything oat mixture into our baking dish. The recipe does call for a square, non-binary baking dish, but I'm just using the same version of an oval one because it's prettier, and you guys in my channel love pretty heroes, so I'm gonna show it to you. You do want to grease it, butter it, or spray it, so I'm gonna do that. And now we just pour our mixture in our bowl. All we have to do is bake this mixture in our preheated oven, which has been preheated to 375 Fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes. Let's do this. Guys, these baked pumpkin oats smell amazing. And I do like to eat these warm right out of the oven. So I've got a bowl right here and I'm gonna scoop some out. These pumpkin oats are terrific as is. Check them out. They have a thicker texture than your traditional oatmeal. Let's check it out. Wow. So delicious. You can taste the pumpkin spice, the pumpkin in it. If you love baked oatmeal, check out the my blueberry oats, um, my cranberry orange baked oatmeal, and so many other recipes right below this video. And while you're down there, hit that red subscribe button so you and I get to hang out together a couple times a week. See you next time.